एवरी वन सो टूडे आई बी एक्सप्लेनिंग क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी टू सेट टू गेट सिविल इंजीनियरिंग ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी टू अ यूनिफॉर्म रॉड के जे ऑफ वेट डब्ल्यू शोन इन द फिगर रेस्ट अगेंस्ट अ फ्रिक्शनलेस वर्टिकल वॉल एट पॉइंट के एंड रफ हॉर्जोंटल सर्फेस एट पॉइंट जे इट इज गिवन दैट डब्ल्यू इज टेन किलो न्यूटन ए इज फोर मीटर एंड बी इज थ्री मीटर The minimum coefficient of static friction that is required at the point J to hold the rod in equilibrium position is. We need to give our answer by rounding it off up to three decimal places. It's a two marks question with no negative marking. For these type of problems, you can refer to lecture series on engineering mechanics by Professor K. Ramesh, Department of Applied Mechanics, IIT Madras. Now let's move towards the solution of this problem. The first step is to draw the free body diagram of the rod K J. The weight of the rod K J will act at the center, as shown in this figure. Let's see point K. At point K, there will be a horizontal reaction K H. There will not be any vertical reaction because this wall, this vertical wall, is frictionless. Uh, at point J, there will be a vertical reaction called J V as well as a horizontal reaction J H that will be due to friction. The value of this J H will be mu that is the coefficient of friction times the vertical force that is J V. The problem has now become very easy to solve. We just need to use the equilibrium equations and find the solution. So we'll use summation of vertical force is zero. So, what are all the vertical forces? The vertical force are J V minus W equal to zero. This is this means J V comes out to be W that is ten kilo newton. So, we get the value of J V as ten kilo newton. Now, we'll use summation of moment about point K equal to zero. so let's see what are all the forces here so when we'll take the moment summation of moment about point k as zero we'll get jv multiplied by distance v which is 3 meter minus jh multiplied by this distance a meter which is 4 meter minus w which is 10 kilo newton here multiplied by this distance which is 1.5 meter these are all the forces so that is equal to zero so jv is 10 kilo newton so we'll get jh equal to 15 divided by 4 kilo newton which gives us 3.75 kilo newton so we know that jh is equals to mu times of jv this gives us mu equals to jh divided by jv we'll now put the value of jh and jv so we'll get mu as 0.375 sorry 0.375 So this is our final answer.